Okay, now. I'm Waddy Filer. I live in Connecticut, USA, and I'm macrobiotic. Uh, it's interesting how I got to be macrobiotic in that many years ago my wife became sick and she got uh, cancer. She had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and she uh, decided she didn't want to take normal treatment that the doctors wanted to give her, but she wanted to go macrobiotic. And of course my reaction was, go what? Because I didn't know what macrobiotics was. So we decided to go both macrobiotic and regular treatment. And the regular treatment was chemotherapy. So uh, she finally, all her lymph glands disappeared. And uh, so I told the doctor, let's stop the chemotherapy. He says, you can't because of uh, protocol. We've got to continue it through the full course. And before, at the time of the last chemotherapy treatment, she died of chemotherapy, a poison. So she decided to have a, uh, he, the doctor wanted to have an autopsy. So he, uh, so I said, sure, but you got to give me a written report. And I went back the next day to find out how the autopsy turned out. And uh, he said, well, I haven't heard yet, but he grabbed a phone and he said to the, uh, on the phone, make sure you got the right patient. Well, I never really realized that they made mistakes in hospitals, but evidently they'd made a mistake or something. He put up the phone, hung it up, turned to me and he said, I shouldn't have been treating her. I said, why? She said, because she has no sign in the autopsy, uh, autopsy of having any uh, cancer. Well, you know, I was shocked, disappointed, and kind of mad, so I left. And uh, on the way home, I did stop to eat something. But by the time I got home, there was a nice letter stuck to my front door with a scotch tape saying that they had followed protocol and every, they'd done everything that they should. So I guess my wife gave me a legacy because I've been macrobiotic ever since. So here I am. So what, what, what are you doing now? What do I do now? Yeah. Well, I, I've been uh, managing uh, housing for the elderly, low-income housing, and I've got interested in studying for uh, people who have MCS, or multiple chemical sensitivity, and I've been studying that for about five years. So I just sold my business, and I want to uh, get into that business, and then I have a second business that I'm going to go into, which I'm going to tell people about shortly. So uh, that's what I do now. So what advice would you give to people who are uh, starting microbiotics? <laughs> uh, or maybe who are going through the same experience you are? Uh, you know, well, in the people going with the same experience as me? Yeah, like uh, with, with cancer, with uh, the whole doctors. Well, hey, listen, I, I don't give advice to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Let them do it, decide on their own. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I've enjoyed being macrobiotic. I've got a lot of macrobiotic friends now. I've got one sitting right across from me here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm having a great life. So, and I enjoy things. So what's, so, what's so special about the KI and being here? About KI? Yeah, Cushing. Well, the uh, Cushing Institute, I remember the first time that my wife and I went to see Michaud in uh, Brookline, New York, and uh, in Massachusetts, and uh, all of a sudden my wife had to go back into the hospital that day, so I called Michaud up and I said, my wife can't come. He says, well, come along anyways and bring your family. And so I brought my daughter, my mother, myself. We went up to see him. And I was amazed. He, he spent six or seven hours with us, and there were other people waiting for him to, to see them. And uh, we, we talked all afternoon, and uh, he was just a great person. But the thing that amazed me, he knew to the letter all about my wife, and he had never met her. He told me all about her, what, what she was like, everything else. So... He's an amazing person, and uh, I think he's leaving a legacy to the country, too, so. And there's, there's my good friend over there. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay.